Am I a waitress? Cause I'm serving looks. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to save this young man's soul. The devil is trying to take him from us. God save him. Amen. <gasps> to my channel and today is a story time because I haven't done story times in a long time so this story time I haven't given it, given it much thought but this story time is going to be how I kind of grew up with ghosts and you don't have to believe it because like this is like maybe three paranormal stories that all kind of link together from when I was a child um, this, you may not believe it, you may just want to watch this to be entertained or whatnot, but I don't want my channel to become like, oh yeah, this girl believes in this stuff and stuff, yeah. I currently am a Wiccan. Um, that's my religion. So yeah. Uh, what's the dealio? So, this happened when I was about three. Well, my grandma and my dad's side died. Um, we got to see her body like earlier that day, but it was late at night. And me and my sister used to sleep on bunk beds. I used to sleep at the top bunk. And my mom and sister were in the living room because my sister was older than me, so she could stay up later. Anyway, I was in my bunk bed and I was watching TV. Because to watch TV on my bunk bed, you kind of have to, like, lean out. You kind of had to lean outside the bed and kind of lean over and look at the TV. And I was just watching TV or whatnot. And all of a sudden, like, I feel like a wet spot on my cheek. And I'm like, uh-huh. So I go, I hop myself down the bunk bed. I hop myself down the bunk bed. I scoop myself down the bunk bed. Because I never climbed down the ladder to get down the bunk bed. I always just slid off the side, landed on the second bed, and jumped off. So, I go in the living room and tell my mom, like, I felt something wet on my face. And she kind of looks alarmed and then just tells me to go back to bed. So, I go back in the bed. And then I, like, kind of thought about it. I was like... Grandma used to give me wet kisses like that. And then, that, like, that's the end of that story. <laughs> that was a really short one. This one happened at my aunt's house when I was younger. Okay. Yeah, I finally figured out how I'm going to do this. Two when I was younger and one, like, that was more recent. So, my aunt... This is when my, this is when my granny on my aunt's side was alive. On my mom's side, I was alive. So, I was like four, and I was sleeping across the bed. Like, not the regular way you would sleep across it, like, because the bed is vertical, I was sleeping horizontally on it, because my aunt had body pillows, and I was laying on them. And I wake up at some random point. Like, I just kind of, like, wake up and open my eyes. And I'm, like, this close to the ceiling. Like, laying down. This is the ceiling to my face. And then I kind of just, like, plop down. I barely told the story to anyone, too. And then I just, like, kind of plop down. And I'm like, huh? So, I don't tell my auntie about that. I don't think she knows about this now, either. I don't think I ever told her about it. I kind of mentioned it to, like, one friend, and that's it. And more recently, like, maybe a year ago. 
Now this story is a little more verbose. My mom... Okay. So I was just staying at my mom's house. We moved in 2015 to the, uh, to the, from the inner city to the suburbs. And this is around the time like we just got the house. Like we just moved in. And... My granny like passed away maybe about a few months before we moved. No, we had the house when she was alive. She died while we were there, I think. Yeah, she died in the hospital. So, she knew we had a new house. So, anyway. My mom likes to go gamble at the casino. At the casino. So, that's cool. So, I was home alone. Just chilling in my room. And you know how parents give you chores because, like, you're home alone or whatnot. So, I had to fold the towels and put them back in the um, closet because she washed them. And they were just sitting on the couch. So, I, I folded... Ugh, frick. It was, like, maybe 10 p.m. I'm folding... I'm sitting on the couch folding the towels. All of a sudden, like, I hear the floor start creaking. And the floor doesn't really creak when people walk on it. So, but there was nobody home anyway to walk on the floor. And it was in front of me. So I was very confused. Okay, no. This is how the couch is. There's a couch, there's a big window. And then there's a couch by the window. The TV's in front. And then there's a love seat on the side of it. And then there's also the hallway that's like on the other side of the love seat. So like right next to the love seat. And that's where the... That's where the footsteps were coming from. So I was like, there's no one home. Okay, cool. So I heard before the towels. But like, my room is in that hallway and so is the closet. So I was real scared. So I kind of just sat on the couch for a minute. Till it stopped. It like, inched closer to me than it stopped. So I hurry up and fold the towels. And run, throw them in the closet real quick and then go in my room and lock the door. And I kind of sit there for a minute. I'm like, wow, that was weird. So I don't think anything of it. So I go back and I, I don't go back in there. I stay in my room, fire up my PlayStation, my PS4, watch a little YouTube. Then I hear like the gate open from outside. And the way our house is like... My aunt's house is it's a deck on the back. The back is a deck. So there's like a little gate. And it wasn't windy. If it's really windy, it'll open by itself. So that would have been self-explanatory. But it wasn't windy that day. And I heard the gate open. So like I peek out my window because my window's like right near, near the gate. Ooh. By the door, you can see the gate. And I look. And I don't see anybody. So I'm like, Okay. See, I'm not stupid. I wasn't going to, like, go and open the door. So, I just kind of, like, looked. And I was like, oh? So, I turned my TV off. Well, no, I don't turn it off. I pause the video. I turn off the light. And I sit on my floor. I didn't text my mom. I didn't think to text my mom. But I was just sitting there with my little Nokia. Like, wondering, what do I do? This is about 2015. And I'm like, what do I do? So, sitting on the floor, wondering what to do. I, like, wait, like, 30 minutes, and then I feel safe again. So, I just continue doing what I was doing. And I thought, why don't I go downstairs in the basement and dance? Because we had a huge... We have a huge basement, so I was going to go practice some stuff for dance. I usually do that anyway. So, I'm bumping, I'm bopping. And in our laundry room, we have an automatic light, which is our laundry room's in the basement. Okay, so our basement is, there's a big, it's a bit one big room. Then there's a small storage room, a bathroom down there, in the back of the big room. And then on the 
facing the stairs on the left side of the room, there's the laundry room. The laundry room has an automatic light, so when you walk in, like, the light will turn on. So, I'm nowhere near, when you're in that big room, the biggest room in the basement, like, the main part of the basement, <laughs> there's no way you could be near that laundry room enough to turn that light on. So, like, I'm over here in the middle of my flat, because, like, I'm trying to, like, get it down pat. That's when I didn't really have it. I was trying to get it down pat. And I turn around once, and I see the light on, and then I stop. And I'm like, huh? And the light in the laundry room is on. I did not go near that laundry room. I was really confused. So, I was just like, okay. This laundry room light turned on. That's cool. So I'm like really freaked out for a minute. At this point, I call my mom. And I'm like, this, this is too much stuff happened in this house. Never leave me here again, please. And she's like, I don't believe you when that's happening. But my mom also told me before, like, she was home. And it was a shadow on her wall and it would not leave. And I was like... But my house also also have like way more freakier shit happen. When we first moved there in my closet, there's a trap door at the top of my closet like that's like an attic type thing, a storage space, and it was like slightly ajar. And that was like before we moved in, and when we completely moved in, like all the st like we were moved in, but like. Our stuff was in the house. When our house was furnished, everything was in there. I looked in the closet. And it wasn't a jar anymore. It was completely closed. And I was like, Mommy, did anyone go and close the did anyone go close the trap door up there? And she's like, No. No one's been in your room. Since we get it furnished, like no one opened the closet. Well, when we first got there, when I opened the closet, there was a spider in there. I named it the Spider Claude. Okay? I named it the Spider Claude. I love that spider. The spider still lives there to this day. It's, 2000, it's 2018. The spider still lives there. I don't understand how that spider didn't die yet. Like, it moves around and stuff and anything, everything, but it just stays in the closet all the time. I've never seen it, like, not there in the closet. So, it must be bugs or something up there, because... It doesn't look like it's malnourished to me. But our house has a lot of crawl spaces, like, at the top. Especially in the basement. From the storage room to the laundry room, there's a crawl space by the windows. And I'm like, what? It's so freaky and unsettling. Like, why is that in my house? But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoy this story time dealio thing situation. Because, um, I'm not good at telling stories. And if you guys want to, like, hear more about, like, things that have happened to me paranormal-wise or just, like, story-wise and, like, have a story time in general about things, I will tell you guys that. Because I have, like... I've been through some things that deserve story times. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they can get real sensitive or insensitive or a bit crazy, so that's a thing. Okay. But I'm Mari Mercury. Like and subscribe and press that bell icon because that's what people are saying nowadays. And I'll see you guys on the flip side and keep on. Bye. Bye. I didn't even say I'm Mari Mercury and I'm out of this world. And keep on. Bye. Bye.